Hi, this is Matt Reschenberg from the OpenQRM project. In this video we will show you how cloud computing with OpenQRM works in 5 minutes. So first let's have a look at the common way to get a new server. Server gets ordered, delivered, physically set up, connected to the network, the application is being installed and so on. And all quite a few steps which are all taking your time. Now let's see how we can help you on that using the OpenQRM cloud. We are a web browser, we access the cloud portal of our public demo cloud at http colom slash slash demo.openqrm.com. With the visual cloud designer we can now construct our cloud appliance from the components available in the cloud. The components are listed as building blocks in the left panel. Simply drag them into the cloud appliance in the construction area. Here we take a Xen virtual machine, an Ubuntu server template, a Linux operating system, some memory, we pick a disk size and a network card. We can also set the application layer of this cloud appliance. We selected it to be a web server. We need two of those machines and they should be high available. Now we set the start and end date for this request and submit it to the cloud. Next we will get a mail with the login details of the requested systems. Within the cloud portal we can check the status of our request and also get access to our systems via an SSH terminal login embedded in the web browser. With no additional tools installed we are logging into our cloud appliance. Here we take the public IP of the cloud appliance which we ordered as a web server and put it into another tab of the web browser. And here we go. It works. For the concept of cloud appliances we ask ourselves what is Linux? And came to the conclusion that Linux is a bunch of files. And that we should treat our Linux servers like files. What we do with the OpenQRM cloud is to rapidly and dynamically inject a Linux kernel, its kernel modules and a root file system into the cloud system which can be either virtual or physical, no matter for OpenQRM. What you get is a clean separation between the hardware, which is replaceable at any time, here on the left, and the storage and management system on the right. In the OpenQRM cloud, hypervisors from different types are just resource provider. OpenQRM out of the box supports many different virtualization technologies such as Xen, KVM and VMware. What you end up with is a green IT because unlike many other technologies OpenQRM supports an end to one failover which means you can save the power consumption of almost all your standby server. OpenQRM comes with a lot more features than we are able to present in this short video. Some of the most important ones are listed here. The OpenQRM Cloud comes with an integrated billing system which is based on a virtual and generic cloud currency. It can be easily connected to existing business processes via its well-documented SOAP web service API. You want to take a test drive? Please go to http colom slash slash demo.openqram.com for a free account on our public demo cloud. Many thanks for your time. We hope you enjoy OpenQRM.